All right, we're determined to try and bring some Christmas cheer today, but obviously um, <laughs> the news that came uh, last night from Prime Minister Boris Johnson at his COVID press conference oh. was fairly sobering. It was an update on the booster programme, but the Chief Medical Officer, Chris Whitty, called for limits on socialising, saying don't mix with people that you don't have to. We actually did a poll on this for Loose really? Women. 38% of you said that you would be changing your plans in the run-up to Christmas, but of course that means the majority, 62%, mm -hmm. uh, said that you wouldn't. And I mean, Look. what Chris Whitty said, Judy, is he's not going to dictate to people what they should and shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. But it's a serious situation and people have to make their own decisions, for, you know, their own priorities yeah. based on what he sees as a very difficult situation. So what are you going to do? Well, I'll be honest. First, thank you for explaining what he said because I didn't watch it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping it 100% <laughs> <did I>, <laughs> real because, look, <laughs> regards to changing, I feel like I've changed anyway since we've started in this situation with the pandemic. And this year, I'm keeping it very minimal, just how I kept it last year because I'm thinking to myself, look, there's so much information being put out there, but the reality is... You know, I've had COVID. I know people that's had COVID. I know people that's had different reactions to it. So I'm just going to keep my people, people that I'm in contact with, and myself and my family as safe as possible. And if that means keeping a minimum amount of people that come to my home for Christmas, then that's what I'm going to do. It's not to follow what the government says or to follow any mm. conspiracy. It's more about... I just... I. I don't know what this is. I can't contain it. They don't seem to know what they're doing. Mm. There's so much mixed signals. I've got to protect my mental health, my peace, and my family's mental health and peace and their health. So if that means mm. that it's just me and my kids, and if it is someone, a friend who I know is out there doing whatever they want and has never stuck down to the rules, then you won't be coming to my house unless you're going to have a test. It's just that simple. And I and think you would have that conversation. I've had that conversation, and I will continue to have that conversation because. Look, the reality is every single individual reacts differently to COVID. And that's something that I'm not willing to take that risk. Mm. I suppose it's just to have that mutual respect, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I guess, and I'm not trying to make this explosive, but I guess if I said to you, Carol, I'll come to my house for Christmas, but I want you to take a test, because of your views that you've expressed, you wouldn't want to do that. No, I wouldn't and, not and want I get to that. do it, I just wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I get that. And, and that's we're in this difficult situation, aren't we? that we have to try and respect other people's views yeah. here in mm. really difficult circumstances. Well, I respect that you don't trust me to come to your house even though I'm not ill um, without having to prove that I'm not ill. Mm. You know, where does it end? What other illnesses do you want to know that yeah. I've got or haven't got? Mm. Um, you know, I find, it, I find it quite breathtaking, actually, that Boris stands there and goes, we're not cancelling anything, but here's a load of scary numbers and everyone goes and cancels anything anyway. Mm -hmm. And I've had so many things cancelled on me now that... You know, great Christmas plans from people I haven't seen for years. And uh, they're all being cancelled because they're scared. They're scared. They're not, I don't think they're particularly scared of the illness. They're probably scared of the test and not being able to do this and not being able to do that mm. because they're supposed to be um, locked up if they take a positive test. But the point, the point is, it's cr again, it's crippling hospitality. They are having so bookings cancelled, and I yeah. feel so. Yeah. I feel so sad that people are listening to this stuff and not trusting. It's rubbish their for own... everybody. It's it, 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 really it's not people rubbish. Who have lost I mean, it's everyone. Funny. It makes it's me not, angry. You know? It's the first press conference I haven't listened to, and I made that decision yesterday because I think I kind of agree with you, Judy. We know that we are powerless to a huge degree of what... And, and even the scientists and the doctors will say, yeah. we don't actually know how this is going to turn know. out. So I'm just trying to... Do, I'm, I'm making my own decisions on the information that I have. But it's like... We were talking about this, Kay, weren't we? It's like when Witty says only you only go to those things that are important to you, that's so different for so many You're different so right. people. That's you know, I mean, my daughter... Me. My daughter came into me last night and she, like, came in very cautiously into my room and she said, do you think I'm going to be able to have my 18th birthday? Day on whatever date she's having a party, and now now she's 19 in a week, mm. but she's still trying to have mm. her 18th birthday, and 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 that's going to be at our house. And so for me, with Witty's um, Witty's um, um, statement. Request, statement, statement for me was, yes, you are, because for me, for my daughter, 
That's the, for yeah, my I mean, decision. That's can, a can very I'm important. Saying, I just that's think about important. the people that have lost a lot of a, a lot of loved ones, and I, I just don't ever want to put anyone else at risk. And it, it's something that we can't, like you say, we can't monitor. It, it's not. It, I don't believe in the scaremongering, mm. but we can't monitor. If we that's just what they're doing. I know, yeah. but as us as individuals, if we just take that personal responsibility and think, you know what, and I would work, respect right. that you said, Jews, mm. I'm not comfortable doing a test, and I would respect that and say, okay, babies, well maybe when things lessen, we can come together with me outside. But what Whatever way we can just yeah. all be safe. I am not yeah, cancelling yeah. anything. In fact, I'm going to go out every single night <laughs> until everything shuts down, which I'm sure it probably will. Yeah. And I, do you know what? The best thing about it is being in London, I can now suddenly get into a load of restaurants that I couldn't get into before because, you know, soft people are just cancelling left, right and centre. So, no. Well, that's what they've said to us, that we have to make up our own minds. They presented the evidence to us. They presented the scale of, uh, you know, the increase in this infection and they've asked us to do what we think is right, so mm. we all have to do what we think is right. is right. I'm right. Um, You're right for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone's right <laughs> for themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>